me and my friends started solving problems and the problems got bigger and as they did we started getting a little more rec recognized for the impact of what we've done. So people started bringing us bigger problems. And the methodology we used to approach a problem was the same discipline every time. Kind of like an agile scrum method. We assume the customer's always wrong. We push back on the requirements and the reason why they're doing what they're doing. And uh, we question all possible assumptions. Want to build a command center. I just want to be happy. Now that might seem like a weird request, or I just want to be in love. But what we found is, if you think about what programmers do, if you think about what the kids out there are doing right now, is they're turning ambiguity into absolute. Take a fuzzy set of requirements and break them down to ones and zeros. So the more ambiguous you are with us, the more freedom we have to solve the problem. If you start trying to solve it yourself, you're already starting to take me down the wrong rabbit hole, potentially. So then, as more and more problems came in, I started running out of geniuses. So I, s I went to my guys and said, now I have a funded wish. How do I find more of you guys? 150 IQ is about 1 in 10,000. They're not easy to come across. So we analyzed the situation. They said, if you write a book, Walter, the millennials won't read it. If you make a movie, they'll forget your name in six months. But if you replace CSI as the number one show in the air for the next 10 years, <laughs> the geniuses will come find you, and the 12-year-old boys and girls will grow up wanting to be you and study computer science. And that might just fix this country, too. So I said, OK, let's do that. Let's concierge up ourselves. So we got the producers of Transformers, Spider-Man, and Star Trek, the director of Fast and the Furious, the writers of Sopranos and Prison Break and Hostages, put them all together, and we're now at the end of season two of the number one show in the air, up to 26 million viewers. And I get notes from mothers and single moms and kids all the time going, what laptop do I buy? What language do I study? What school do I go to? Where did you get your computer science degree, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, this, this is 26 million now, but our website went from 70 hits a day to 104,000. And we get about 20 resumes now on a frequent basis of high IQ individuals. So we are finding them. And of course, more people are bringing us problems too. I think it's good to go through life assuming most people are wrong most of the time. I think that's a healthy thing to teach people. It helps them be more innovative rather than just accepting that authority figures are correct. I think that's very unhealthy. Judgment is the pinnacle or summary of wisdom and knowledge and, and experience and so on if you have good judgment. So if you're teaching kids anything, we should be teaching them critical thinking skills and good judgment. And they'll, they'll figure everything else out if they know how to do that. And they'll guide themselves pretty well. 